guys, my name is Arpit, co-founder of NSK India. We are a premium digital marketing institute based on... plenty of resources available which can help you configure them. I will be covering the most important ones in my upcoming videos. But what about a tag that you want to deploy isn't built into Google Tag Manager? Well in this case, you need to create a custom tag. Through custom tags, you can track anything from your website. Under custom tags, you will find custom HTML and custom image tag. Custom HTML tags gives you the functionality of deploying code on your website. This makes it really powerful because then it means you will be able to integrate any marketing or analytics tool required for your website. It is recommended to use custom HTML tag only when the built-in template for the given tool is not available. Let's click on custom HTML tag. Now in this section, you can write HTML and JavaScript code. GTM load tags asynchronously, so avoid code that reflects on the front end. You can use this section to create a data layer to push variables in a third party tool. I will be covering data layer in my coming videos. Some often used cases of custom HTML tags are tracking various social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, live chat integration, CRM tracking, email automation, dynamic display advertising. For this video, I will quickly paste the Facebook pixel code here. Then we have this option of support document.write. Now document.write is an archaic JavaScript method. Using it incorrectly can have disastrous results. If you do not check this box, your tags will be fired asynchronously. And that is how it should happen. I have a whole list of reasons why you should not use this feature, but that is a video for another day. Then below we have advanced settings. These advanced settings are even applied on built-in tag templates, so let's understand what they are. Tag firing priority. This option determines the order in which the tags will be fired. Tags with higher number will get more priority and hence will be fired first. You can put a positive or a negative number in this field. Priority defaults to zero if nothing is specified in this field. Note tags in GTM are fired asynchronously. Denoting the priority for a tag will not prevent other tags from firing, even if one of a higher priority does not fire at all. You can leave this field empty, it should not make much difference, however the recommended practice is to give your analytics tags higher priority than other tags. Then below it, we see this option to enable custom tag firing schedule.
once the page loads then below we have this option of tag sequencing gtm tag sequencing enables you to specify tags that will fire immediately before and after this current tag by checking this first option you can specify which tag to fire before your current tag is fired simply choose the tag from the drop down menu which you want to fire first like just for this example i'll select google analytics from here then below here if you check this box gtm will not fire the facebook pixel tag if the google analytics tag fails to load or is paused similarly by checking the second option you can specify which tag to fire after your current tag is fired simply choose the tag from the drop down menu which you want to fire later an example use case might be where if you wanted a tag to pull some values dynamically off a page and make them available before another tag fires like if you want to dynamically pull e-commerce data from a page through a tag first and then pass it to your analytics tool tag then we need to assign this tag a trigger i'm covering triggers in my next video so you can refer it so this is all about custom html tags we also have custom image tags let's have a look at them you can use the custom image tags to track data from a web page in a very smart manner. Every image on your website is called through a link. Custom image tags loads a pixel on your web page with a link carrying the information that you want to send into a third party tool through GTM. For example, if you request an image via this URL, then you can pass your product name and product category into Google Analytics through GTM. The need for custom tag arises because custom HTML tags do not work when JavaScript is disabled in a browser. Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel and other tags rely on JavaScript whereas image tags are not dependent on JavaScript to work. Custom image tags can be complex to implement if you are not from development background. It is okay if you wish not to implement custom tags for now as it has a little impact on your overall tracking. So now in this field, you just need to put your image link with parameters that you want to track. Then you should check enable cache busting. This ensures hits are registered from browsers that have cached version of the image. You can use the default cache busting parameter GDM CD. Then below we have tag priority and tag sequencing. This I've already explained earlier in the video. That'll be all for today guys. My next video is about GTM triggers. Press the bell icon so you get a notification when I upload it. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber already, then smash that subscribe button so you keep updated with this ever-changing digital marketing industry. Bye for now. I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, my name is Arpit and today I'm going to show you five super cool things that you can do with Google Tag Manager. Let's jump right into it. You can track visible time and hidden time on a page using Google Tag Manager. If you currently